This is an awesome close-up illusion. Take a coin and you place it very fairly in your hand and you focus and you focus. And then it changes into a key. Wow. Wow. How do you like so that? Amazing. You like that? Welcome to Kids Magic Academy. Yay! It is Friday. It is two o'clock here in Annapolis. And it's seven o'clock in England. And boy, are we having fun today, aren't we? Yes, are we on. I like your outfit. What are you dressed as? A cat witch. A cat witch? <laughs> <laughs> Not a sandwich. No. You're like a cat between two pieces of bread. <laughs> yeah. And sort of a sorceress eating it. <laughs> <laughs> Check this out. This is an awesome close-up illusion. Take a coin and you place it very fairly in your hand and you focus and you focus. And then it changes into a key. Wow. Wow. How do you like so that? That's so amazing. You that's, like that? Yes, I do. In a second, boys and girls, we're going to show you exactly how that is done. But in the meantime, we're going to open the Book of Magic because every so often in this series, we'll be opening up the magic book. This is the magic book. And today we're going to learn about the two first two rules of magic. Number one is you. And what I mean by that is there is no magic without your personality. Yes. Who, are you, who are you? You are cheeky, you're exciting, you're dynamic, you're fun, you're vivacious, you're very, very naughty sometimes and as well. And I'm serious. And you're serious. I'm pretty much the same. Do you know why? Because I'm your daddy. <laughs> but think about what kind of person you are and always perform your magic with your personality involved with the trick. Yeah? Always think about that. It is really, really important. The second rule of magic is once people know the secret there is no magic in other words don't tell people the secret of the trick now i know that sounds a little bit strange because we're teaching you today but we're teaching you for a reason to pass on the legacy of magic to the kids for the future we're all in this coronavirus lockdown and it's a bit of a strange situation isn't it yes and it's very sad because we don't get to see our friends you don't get to see your friends but it does give us the opportunity to share some really cool magic with you but always remember the moment they learn the secret the magic disappears so always keep the secret to yourself mm -hmm. okay really important and they're gonna say oh please show me how it's done go on please go no -uh. because the moment i do the magic has gone forever hasn't it yes because if you just tell them they'll like tell their friends if they're not a good secret and they could also lie that's right that's right so, so don't ever tell anyone that's right keep the secret to yourself having said all that we are here teaching you and that is why we are showing you the secret but in reality when we perform we never tell people the secret mm -hmm. so you're going to need a coin and you're going to need a key there's i'm going to show you two things you can do with this and they're both really cool what you need is the coin to cover the end of the key like so so it's got to be big enough to cover the end of the key mm -hmm. and then this part of the key is hidden between your thumb and your pointer finger like so so that looks really fair it looks like your hand is empty apart from the coin mm -hmm. right you show the left hand you show the coin you place it into the hand and cover make sure they don't see that key and then snap time misdirection focus your attention and then from the hand you pull out the key the coin just stays in your left hand. There is no skill, no funny move required. So once again, coin, cover the key, like so. Put it into the hand, like so. Snap. Focus and take out the key. That's one way of doing it. Mm -hmm. The other way of doing it is to get a coin that looks very similar to the key. Okay, so the same color of metal. You then cover, like so. Place it into your hand as before, but this time you bring up the key just so it's right on the edge 
of your fist like so and you say to your volunteer will you hold on to the coin for me hold on to it ready and after three the magic will happen one two three lift it out <laughs> and it then happens in their hand which is a really cool thing isn't it because they're convinced that it's changed in their hands and remember boys and girls magic that happens in a spectator's hands is always the most powerful type of magic there is so Lara's never done this before, but for the first time ever, live on camera, she's going to try the coin to the key <laughs> trick. So show the coin. Perfect. Show your hand empty. Put it into your hand. Perfect. Close your hand around it and snap. I cannot snap today because my hands are too slippery. Okay, no problem. Let me try again. Let's try again. Let's set that up for you. So once again, remember, boys and girls, coin in front of the key, hidden by those two fingers, okay? Or the thumb and the finger. There you go. If your hands are too small, do what Lara's doing. She's covering it with her fist. That looks pretty good to me. No? Nope. Yeah. Cool. Okay, show the coin. And then put it in your hand. Good. Not bad at all. That was a pretty, pretty good effort, I must say myself. Well done. How did you enjoy doing that? I liked, I loved it. Now the next one. You loved it. Right. <laughs> so the next tip we can give you on this is as soon as you put it into the hand, time is direction, and then pull it out. Remember, this hand then dies. It's not important anymore. Boom. And you can leave the coin on the lap and then show like so. And that's how you ditch or get rid of this coin. Okay, some cool phrases are going to come out as you progress with this in the Magic Academy. Whenever we say ditch, we mean leave it secretly in a, in a secret place, okay, without them knowing. So I ditch it. Be creative and look at what is around you in your environment and use your environment to your advantage. But from now, it's bye from me. And bye from me. Bye-bye.